Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Faith and Flower. I'm Robin and today I wanted to show you how I packed everything for our family trip. It's a three-week trip to Switzerland and France. We are going to visit family and we're going to be taking a little side trip and I just wanted to show you everything that I was going to pack and how I did it. I'm taking a purse, a carry-on suitcase, and I am sharing a checked suitcase with my husband. And I had to switch everything up a little bit. If you guys have seen my 10 item wardrobe video, I had everything all set for our summer here in Texas, but where we are going, it is going to be so much colder that I almost have a whole new wardrobe. And I just shot my closet. I didn't go out and buy anything new, but I did pull out things from my winter ward wardrobe here in Texas. Um, and some early spring items that I had to make it work for over there. But I still wanted to use that 10 item wardrobe mentality in my packing. And I thought it would be fun to bring you guys along. When you see this video, we will already be back from our trip. And maybe I can even talk to you a little bit about how it all worked out. And if I felt like I overpacked or underpacked, we'll just see, it'll be an experiment. Um, but we are leaving tomorrow morning and my son that's here with us, my husband and I, and we are flying to Newark, and there we're gonna meet our son that's been in college, and so he's packing on his own. <laughs> he's gonna bring a carry-on and um, a large piece of check-in luggage as well, um, so, which is nice, because we should have some extra space to bring things back, because we're gonna have chocolate and things that we wanna bring home, so we like to leave a little extra space for that, but we will be spending the night in Newark and then flying out again in um, the afternoon to Switzerland. So I had to think a little bit about all of those things when I was packing to make it simple so that we could just get into our um, carry-on luggage and not have to worry about digging around inside of our uh, checked luggage when we get to the hotel tomorrow night. Um, so anyway, I thought you might find this interesting and if you like videos like this, give me a thumbs up and I would love to have you subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. Let's start by showing you the items that I chose for my 10 item travel wardrobe. I picked out a pair of lightweight khaki cropped pants, some cream colored jeans, and a pair of dark wash uh, jeans that are also cropped. These first two blouses are of a polyester material that are really great for traveling because they don't get wrinkled and they're very easy to wash. Then I have sort of a jersey knit top, another jersey knit top in gray. This t-shirt is one from my summer wardrobe, and then I'm also packing the two dresses that are from my summer wardrobe. Hopefully, we'll have some weather where I can wear those. Those are my 10 core items, and now I'll show you my extras. I packed three sweaters. This first one is a flowy, cream colored sweater that works with almost everything I've packed and it's also very warm and this gray sweater is quite warm as well and I love this because it has this great stitching detail on the sides and the last sweater that I packed is this white one it's very lightweight but it's perfect if it's just a little on the cool side to wear with the dresses and pretty much most everything else I packed as well I'm also packing several t-shirts a long sleeve sort of workout top and another pair of crop pants for some hiking that we're planning to do. Whenever we travel, I always make sure to carry along a swimsuit. So I also have a hat and a rash guard in case we have the opportunity to go to one of the thermal baths in Switzerland or a pool at the hotel. And these are the pajamas that I'm packing. They're very warm for the cool nights that we'll have. And I have two camisoles to go with that. Over the last few years, whenever we travel, I have been using these packing cubes. I love them. They keep everything so organized and I don't know how I ever lived without them. But I will make sure to put them in the description box below because I did buy them on Amazon. They're very lightweight and these are already packed with underwear, camisoles, socks, bras, all of those sort of essentials. For any toiletries that might spill, I'm putting into these Grove Collaborative resealable and reusable bags. They're very thick plastic and I think they're going to work very well. So the larger one will go into my checked-in luggage and the smaller one that has all of the TSA approved sized um, items is going to go into my carry-on bag. 
I like organizing things into small bags. This one has my feminine products and this one has medications, Tylenol, anything like that that I need to bring along. All of my makeup and any other remaining toiletries go into this train case. I use the upper part for my makeup. There's plenty of room for brushes and underneath I can put things like deodorant, hair brushes, and the remaining toiletries. My hairspray I'm going to pack into my checked in luggage and then I like to carry along a few extra bags for various things. This first one is for jewelry and then I have some that I'll put shoes in as well as the laundry bags that I use for delicates to take along to use as laundry bags and an extra shopping bag or two. I'm packing this small crossbody bag to take along in case I don't want to use my larger purse when we're hiking or walking around. I've got my Bible and then my laptop. I also have plug adapters for each of us for our phones and laptops. I always take along this little mirror wherever I go. It's so wonderful because it has a regular mirrored side um, plus a magnified side, which I feel like I just cannot put on my makeup without. For shoes, I'm going to be taking these four pairs. I just felt like I needed a variety of things um, to sort of cover my bases, and these are all very neutral, go with most everything, and are pretty lightweight. This first packing cube will have everything that I'm going to put in my carry-on luggage. So I have several tops and actually both pairs of pants plus the ones that I'm going to wear on the plane will go in here. And my pajamas as well as plenty of socks and underwear to last me for several days. We have had luggage get lost so I like to carry at least two or three days worth of clothing just in case. And I'm also tucking my little mirror in here to keep it protected so that it doesn't get broken or scratched. The rest of my clothes will go into this large packing cube. On the plane, I'm going to wear the jeans and this lavender top, plus I have my beige sweater in my carry-on luggage. They are calling for some rainy weather while we're going to be in Switzerland, so I'm making sure to pack along my raincoat. I love this one. It's by Jessica Simpson, and it's on the thick side, so it'll be great in case the weather's cool, and it has a hood so I don't have to worry about carrying around an umbrella while we're there. So now I'll show you how I've arranged everything into my carry-on bag. This is for my laptop and on this side I've got my little toiletry bag that's TSA approved. I've got my train case and this is all of my um, clothing that is in the packing cube. Before I show you what is on the other side, I just want to explain this little piece of paper that I have zipped in this mesh compartment. We use that to put our address where we're going so that in case the luggage got misplaced, someone would be able to contact us and let us know where we can find it. <laughs> so inside this part, I've got things like my Bible and um, the two little pouches. Um, plus my sweater in case I'm cold on the airplane. I've got my little pouch for my jewelry. I've got those plug adapters in here. Plus this bag that I use um, to wash sweaters and things like that in, I'll take along for our dirty clothes. And it's great because it zips up and it can still breathe when the clothes are in there. So that's what I love to take along instead of a plastic bag. So I'll tuck that in there. And this bag, I have an extra pair of shoes.
I pack my laptop in the middle of my bag because there's a great space for it there. It's well protected and I can reach it easily if I need to remove it for security. On this trip, my husband and I are going to share our checked-in luggage, so I'll show you what I have on my side. First of all, there's the piece of paper with our address where we're going. I've got some extra bags for laundry or shopping. And on the inside, I've got the large packing cube that has all of my clothes. I've tucked in my hairspray where it's protected. This is my raincoat. Underneath that, I have the reusable zip-up bag from Grove Collaborative with all of my toiletries. I've got shoes that I've wrapped in plastic bags, my little crossbody bag, and under that are the two other little packing cubes that have all of my underwear and socks and things like that. Now I'll show you how I packed my purse. And this is a Henry Bendel bag. Um, it's the Jet Setter bag. So I love it because it's got lots of little pockets and places for things. I can organize everything in the large pouch that's in the middle. Um, plus it can be converted into a backpack, which makes it really easy for travel because I can have my hands free when I'm carrying all of my luggage. And I'll show you how I have everything organized inside. I like to use little bags and pouches to keep things in order. In this one, I have my earbuds, which will be great for listening to anything on my phone or watching a movie on the airplane. And these two little bags, also from the Grove Collaborative, I've got some snacks, I've got some nuts, and um, this one has dried mango. In this little bag, I like to keep all of our chargers, both for our phone and laptop, plus some pens just in case. This one just has all kinds of miscellaneous things that you might need in a purse or on your trip, um, such as little toothpicks. Um, I've got a comb. <laughs> and in that little box, I keep Tylenol and um, things like that, a little nail file and a mirror. Plus lipstick. This is the case for my sunglasses and it's large enough for me to fit my regular glasses too if I want to keep them together. I've had this little change purse for ages and I just like to keep all of my Swiss francs in there. We just sort of keep everything from trip to trip and that way when we get there, if we need any change or cash, we'll have some. And this is my regular wallet that I carry around. I also have this little shopping bag, which my mother-in-law gave me years ago, which is great because it folds up very small. Uh, but if I need an extra bag, I have one in here. Plus I've got my EpiPen <laughs> down in that little pouch. And as I said, I've converted it to a backpack. So that way when I'm walking around in the airport with my luggage, I don't have to worry about um, having my hands occupied with my bag. Well, we are back from our trip. We had a wonderful time with our family in Switzerland and in Paris. We enjoyed each other and enjoyed all of the sights that we were able to see. I was super happy with my packing job, so I just wanted to let you know that the 10 item wardrobe is really perfect for traveling. I had everything that I needed and I didn't feel that I had overpacked or underpacked. And I had great choices for the cool weather as well as some warm weather and even rainy days while we were there. It was a, it was a mixture. Um, and I'm excited to get back to my summer 10 item wardrobe here in Texas. We were greeted with over 100 degree weather when we got back and I'm actually kind of 
perspiring right now <laughs> trying to get used to it but I just wanted to thank you for bearing with me while we were away we enjoyed our time and I wasn't posting quite as much as usual so we, be, we will be back to a normal schedule um, with two videos a week soon and I appreciate you watching I hope you found this helpful and if you like this video give me a thumbs up and I would love to have you subscribe to my channel thanks so much for watching <laughs>